Well, hey folks, and welcome again <coughs> to the more summer 21 adventures day five. Okay, uh, today was really a nice day. Uh, a stormy last night, <laughs> about 11 o'clock, uh, the wind picked up and uh, shortly after that, we had a downpour. I had some rain off and on this morning as we traveled. We traveled about two and a half hours away. Um, went to White Sulphur Springs. For those of you that uh, <clears throat> stream the uh, Discovery Plus or, and, uh, and also on DYI, uh, whatever channel that is, you know, uh, there's a program called uh, Barnwood Builders. And so we went to their store and we went to the boneyard. Um, I say two and a half hours there, you know, two and a half hours back. So, you know, but it was a good, good trip. Um, saw some unique things. <laughs> definitely saw some some countryside of, of West Virginia let me tell you something folks there's you know uh, I don't know how many of the highways and roads are built up high but it seemed like every time we went across a ravine a canyon a gully the bridges were way up high and it would say this river or this stream you couldn't see the stream all you could see was treetops because the bridges were built that high up so you don't have to go down the mountain back up you know, you just went straight on across, okay? A good, good thing. But having said all that, it was still a, a good trip. Uh, unfortunately, we were on the interstate the majority of the time, but once we got off, uh, you know, it was nice to see the, I mean, still from the interstate, you could see farms and whatnot, but when you got off the interstate and got back to the back roads, uh, or no, we did not take the RV, we took our Jeep, you know, which is why we tow it, <laughs> okay? Um, before I, I, I talk a whole lot more, I mean, for, for, um, one of uh, the folks that that been following my video uh, suggested I put it on YouTube, and I do. But then they came back and suggest, well, ask your viewers to like and subscribe, um, because then you get so many likes and subscriptions that YouTube starts paying you. Uh, I'm not doing it for that reason, uh, but hey, you know, uh, the gas prices, anything, <laughs> okay, anything would help for that gas, all right? See, right there, <laughs> right there, all right? <laughs> that gas plug, all right? Um, so, um, and to include last year's, uh, which was more summer uh, 2020, uh, then I did a uh, more Easter break video. Uh, I think there was four of those. There was 141 or 142 from last year. And there'll be, I don't know, this is day five. So there'll be uh, 60, probably about uh, 85 or 90 on this trip. So if you would, uh, when you go to YouTube, like and subscribe to it. Uh, I don't know how many it takes to get, uh, you know, a kickback or whatever you want to call it. And I'm not doing it for that reason. Um, and if you don't, uh, that's that's fine. Okay, I'm putting it out there so people uh, can view it and hopefully enjoy it. Uh, I post on on four uh, Facebook sites, and then I also uh, transfer it to YouTube. So all of that, uh, you know, is is good stuff. Okay, they got a movie going on tonight, folks. Uh, when it starts getting dark, so we got a lot of people coming through here. Uh, pretty Greyhound just going by. Oh my, my, my. But, uh, you know, hey, listen, folks, um, like I said, we went over to, uh, to the barnyard, barnwood builders. Okay, not barnyard, barnwood. Um, unique place. I was surprised. I thought the store was going to be bigger than what it was. I thought the boneyard was going to be bigger than what it was. But having said that, it's big enough for everything they're doing. Um, we saw uh, one, two four seven seven or eight you know cabins uh, put together and, you know a couple dog trots uh, you know and and you know if I ever you know bought a ticket of course you have to buy a ticket first right but if I ever bought a ticket and won the lottery I would buy me some land and I would have Mark Bow and, and the Barnwood Builders uh, come and, and put me up a, a big dog trot and then I'd have uh, their partner down there in, in Alabama uh, wherever she's from, I'd have her come and, and finish it off because uh, I've seen some of the programs that she does some dynamite work. Uh, you know, uh, 
uh, some, I mean, she's really just a, a, a good architect, a good designer. But having said all that, folks, uh, you know, it was, again, a good day. A little bit of rain this morning, of course, like so last night. But, uh, you know, traffic wasn't, you know, I was surprised. You know, you, you would think being Saturday, a lot of people would be out and about and whatnot. <laughs> there wasn't. I mean, yes, uh, going through Charleston, uh, you know, around the capital, uh, it was a little bit uh, hectic, you know, busy. But, you know, before and after, both ways, nah, not a problem. Uh, little Jeep, uh, a little straight six. <laughs> It cracked right, right on, right on. So, but, uh, you know, that was that was it today. Um, you know, I've got, uh, I think I have to call out about 14 or 15 pictures. Uh, I've already called out about that many. But, um, you know, so you should be seeing some pictures of uh, the boneyard and uh, of the uh, uh, barnwood, uh, they call it barnwood living now instead of, you know, uh, that's their shop and uh, you know traps there and whatnot and like I say here's people walking towards the uh, to the movie and they got their dogs and dogs are wanting to you know <laughs> be friendly and other ones are not so friendly but hey anyway uh, folks you know I'm gonna go ahead and go on um, you know today's scripture uh, is Psalms 34 18 the Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves such as have a contrite spirit you know and and that that folks you know a lot of times you know a lot of times we uh, we get into that that mode there where you know like I was saying yesterday or the day before you know sometimes when you're just you know praying in the spirit you know you don't really know what to say um, and you don't have to because the Holy Spirit's going to, you know, do that intercessory prayer for you. But his here is, you know, the Lord is close to those with a broken heart. You know, sometimes, folks, it doesn't matter really what it is. It could be a personal family matter. It could be, a, a, you know, relationship matter. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that will cause us to be... Um, saddened, disappointed, distressed, you know. Um, and the Lord is going to come to us in those times. And, and, and he's going to say, you know, here am I, you know. Um, let me heal that broken heart, you know. I am the, the creator and I am the physician, you know. I will create that, uh, you, know, uh, you know, heal that broken heart and, and, and create within you a, a, a new spirit, you know. Um, a lot of times it's 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 hard to let go and say really God are you really really gonna you know do that or you know are you really gonna you know help me through this and I don't know what you're going through I don't know where you've been or what you're doing and you know what's in your future but I can tell you this God is the same yesterday today and tomorrow he is the I am the first the Alpha and the Omega the first and the last he will be there for you through the thick and the thin. He won't leave you like some friends. He won't leave you like some family members. He's gonna be with you every step of the way. And he's gonna see you through it. Just put your faith in him and believe in him. And if you don't, you know, really believe, I just encourage you to, to, to you know, to, to, you know, get a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and invite him to be your savior. And it's very simple. All you have to do is just say, Lord, forgive me of my sins and save my soul. You know, help me to be a, a child of yours. Okay? Hey, folks, you know, those words are easy. And sometimes living a Christian life is tough. I ain't going to deny it. Okay? But every time that happens, all right, now they're starting the music, so i got to hurry up and get out there. Um, you know, God's going to be there to see you through. All right? put your trust in him. God bless you. Uh, for those of you that are our fathers, uh, happy Father's Day, and we'll come to you tomorrow. Good night. God bless.